Welcome students. Today we are going to understand chapter 7, Teeth and Tongue. And based on our understanding, we will do the book exercises and question and answer of this chapter. In this chapter, we all will understand about role of teeth and tongue, part of a tooth, types of teeth, taking care of teeth and tongue. Just like any other part of our body, teeth and tongue also play a vital role. They help us in chewing our food properly. Students, partial digestion of the food takes place in the mouth itself. So it is very important to chew our food properly before we swallow it. And our teeth and tongue help us in doing so. Other than this, they give shape to our face. They help us in speaking clearly. Our tongue helps us in tasting and moving the food in our mouth. Students, all human beings have two set of teeth during their lifetime. The first set of teeth is called as the milk teeth and the other set is known as the permanent teeth. When a baby is born, it has no teeth. The first tooth comes out when the baby is about 6 months old. By the age of 2 to 3 years, a baby has 20 teeth. This first set of teeth is the milk teeth. At the age of 6 years, the milk teeth begins to fall and they are replaced by the permanent teeth. By the age of 12 years, all milk teeth are replaced by a set of 28 permanent teeth. Between the age of 12 to 21 years, 4 more teeth come out, which are called as wisdom teeth. So, there are 32 permanent teeth in an adult, which cannot be replaced once broken. Parts of a teeth? Let's understand the structure of a tooth in detail. Students, a tooth is divided into two main parts. Crown and root. Crown is the visible part of a tooth. Enamel is the hardest substance in our body that covers the crown. It protects the tooth from wear and tear. The dentine is a yellow bone-like layer that supports the enamel. It protects the inner pulp. Pulp is a soft substance that contains nerves and blood vessels. It is the innermost part of a tooth that fills the empty spaces. Gums are the soft pink tissues in the mouth that hold our teeth in place. Root is the bottommost part of the tooth which is present inside the gums and it holds the tooth in its position. Types of teeth Students, we have four main types of teeth present in our mouth, each performing a different function. They are incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Let's understand about these different types of teeth in detail. First is Incisors or biting teeth. There are 8 incisors in our mouth, 4 each in the front of the upper and the lower jaw. These teeth help in biting and cutting the food. Second, canines or tearing teeth. There are 4 canines in our mouth which lies next to the incisors, one on each side in each jaw. These are sharp pointed teeth which help us in tearing the food. Carnivorous animals like lion, Tiger and even cats have sharp pointed canines in their mouth which helps them to tear the flesh easily. Third, premolars or cracking teeth. There are eight premolars in our mouth, four in each jaw. They are placed next to the canines. Premolars are used for cracking and crushing the food in pieces. Fourth, molars or grinding teeth. There are 12 molars present in our mouth, six in each jaw. They are bigger broader and flatter than rest of the teeth. They help us in grinding and chewing the food. Students, the last molar on each side of both the jaws is called as wisdom tooth. They are four in number. Now let's recapitulate how many these different types of teeth are present in each jaw. Incisors. There are four incisors in the upper jaw and four incisors in the lower jaw. So in total, we have eight incisors in our mouth. Canines. There are two canines in the upper jaw, two canines in the lower jaw and so in total we have four canines in our mouth. Premolars. There are four premolars in the upper jaw and four in the lower jaw. So altogether we have eight premolars in our mouth. Molars. There are six molars in the upper jaw, six molars in the lower jaw. And so in total we have 12 molars in our mouth. Students, as we keep our body clean by taking bath daily, Similarly, we need to rinse our mouth every time after eating food. Otherwise, the leftover food particles sticking to our teeth will allow bacteria to grow on them, causing tooth decay, 
which can result in damaging the pulp. The bacteria breaks the sugar into acids which eat away the tooth enamel. This causes holes in the teeth called cavities. The nerves present in the pulp of the tooth senses the pain causing extreme toothache. Plaque is a gum disease that causes redness, swelling and sore in gums. So students, it is necessary to take care of our teeth so that they do not decay or fall. In order to keep our teeth in healthy conditions, we must brush our teeth properly with small round movements. Avoid to brush backward and forward as this can damage the gums. Use a soft toothbrush and dental floss to remove the food particles stuck between the teeth. Always choose a toothpaste which contains fluoride. It makes our teeth strong and protects them from cavities. Never swallow your toothpaste. Always rinse and spit after brushing. We should always rinse our mouth with water after every meal. Massage your gums with the thumb. Visit dentist after every 6 months for regular dental checkups. Eat healthy food like salads containing lots of raw vegetables, fruits to give exercise to your gums and teeth. Avoid eating food that are too hot, too cold or too sweet. They damage our teeth and create cavities. Tongue Students, tongue is said to be the strongest muscular organ of our body. It is a sense organ that helps us to detect the taste of the food which we eat. The upper surface of the tongue has tiny bumps or pores that contain taste buds. There are four different types of taste buds grouped in different areas of the tongue. These taste buds help us to identify sweet, salty, bitter and sour taste. The taste buds which are present at the tip of the tongue in front help us to detect the sweet taste like the taste of chocolate or any other sweet dish. The taste buds which are present on the sides of the front part of the tongue help us to detect salty taste. The taste buds which are present on the left and right side of the tongue help us to feel sour taste like the taste of lemon juice, gooseberries, etc. And the taste buds which are present on the back side of the tongue help us to detect bitter taste like the taste of pepper, bitter gourd, etc. Taking care of tongue Students, our tongue help us in speaking and in moving the food particles in our mouth while eating. In order to maintain a good oral hygiene, we must take care of our tongue as well. We must clean our tongue gently with a tongue cleaner every morning in order to avoid bad breath. We must avoid eating too hot and too spicy food as they can cause blisters on the tongue. Students, lisp is the condition in which the tongue touches our teeth when we say the words with s sound. In this situation, the words do not sound clearly. So students, in this way the explanation of this chapter is done. Before we move on to the book exercises, I request to all my students to kindly subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you keep getting the notifications of the upcoming tutorials. Thank you students. Let's start with our book exercises. Question number 1. Tick the correct options. Question number 1. These are temporary set of teeth. Incisors, milk teeth, canines, molars. So children, we all know temporary set of teeth is called as milk teeth. So here we will take option number B. Question number 2. Herbivores do not have these teeth. Incisors, premolars, canines, molars. So students, herbivores do not have canines as canines are used for tearing flesh and herbivores are those animals which feed on plant products. Question number 3. There are dash teeth in each jaw of an adult human being. 10, 20, 16, 32. So there are basically 16 teeth in each jaw of an adult human being. Part 4. The central part of the tooth is called dash. Dentine, pulp, enamel, crown. So students, the central part of the tooth is called as pulp, which contains blood vessels and nerves. Part 5. Plaque is a disease of dash. Gums, teeth, mouth, tongue. So students, plaque is a disease of gums. Let's move on to question number 2. Complete the given flowchart for the following. Now here children you can see a flowchart is being given with some empty spaces and some of the spaces are being filled. 
so based on our wisdom and whatever we have understood from the chapter we have to fill the empty boxes so let's start types of teeth now students we all know that we have four types of teeth incisors canines premolars and molars now in the first box incisors is already being filled now how many incisors are there in our mouth four in upper jaw and four in lower jaw so the box which is given below the incisors in that box we will write 4 plus 4 now next to incisors we have canines we have two canines in the upper jaw and two in the lower which is already filled in the box given below next to canine we have premolars there are four premolars in the upper jaw and four in the lower jaw next to premolars we have molars which is already written in the last box now how many molars do we have we have six molars in the upper jaw and six molars in the lower jaw which is already filled in this box let's move on to question number 3 give reason for the following first avoid eating too hot or too spicy food answer we should avoid eating too hot and spicy food as it can cause blisters on our tongue question number 2 use a toothbrush with soft bristles answer we should use a toothbrush with soft bristles as it helps in removing food particles stuck between the teeth without hurting our gums question number 3 always rinse your mouth after eating food answer we should always rinse our mouth after eating food as it removes all the food particles stuck between the teeth and prevents the growth of bacteria which causes cavities and tooth decay fourth use a tongue cleaner to clean your tongue daily answer we should use a tongue cleaner to clean our tongue daily in order to avoid bad breath fifth some people have a lisp while speaking answer if the tongue touches our teeth when we say words with s sound then the words may not sound clear this condition is called as lisp question 5 answer the following questions question number 1 why do we need teeth answer we need teeth to chew our food properly before we swallow it teeth also help us in speaking question number 2 what are wisdom teeth answer four teeth which grow between the age of 12 to 21 years are called wisdom teeth they are called so as they appear at an age where a person is presumed to be wiser as the person reaches adulthood question number 3 What is the difference between milk teeth and temporary teeth? Students here this temporary word is wrong here it has to be permanent teeth. So the question would be what is the difference between milk teeth and permanent teeth? Answer first difference milk teeth these are the first set of teeth that comes out when a child is about 6 month old. Permanent teeth these are the next set of teeth that comes out when a child is around 6 years old. second difference milk teeth these teeth are small weak and temporary permanent teeth these teeth are strong and permanent third difference milk teeth these teeth once broken can be replaced by permanent teeth permanent teeth these teeth once broken cannot be replaced again question number 4 what are taste buds how many types of taste buds do we have answer Taste buds are the tiny pores present on the upper surface of our tongue. These taste buds are present in different areas of the tongue that help us to identify different tastes. We have four types of taste buds: sweet, sour, salty, and bitter. Question number 5. List four ways of taking care of our teeth. Answer: Following are the four ways of taking care of our teeth. A. Brush your teeth properly twice a day. doing small round movements b rinse your mouth with water after every meal c use a soft toothbrush and dental floss to remove food particles stuck between your teeth d visit your dentist after every 6 months for regular dental checkups next is hearts what causes holes to our teeth explain answer cavities in teeth are caused due to the growth of bacteria on the leftover sugary particles present on the surface or in between the teeth the bacteria breaks the sugar into acids which eat away tooth enamel this causes holes in the teeth called cavities 
Before winding up this chapter, let's do question number 4 as well. Describe the type of teeth the following animals have. First horse. Students, since horse is a herbivore, it has well developed incisors for biting the grass and molars for grinding and chewing the grass. Second, lion. As we all know, that lion is a carnivorous animal which feeds on other animals. It has sharp canines which helps it to tear the flesh and molars for chewing the flesh before swallowing it. Third squirrel. Squirrel is a small animal which feeds on small fruits and nuts. It has well developed incisors and molars for biting and grinding its food. So students in this way today we learnt about teeth and tongue. Hope you learned something new in today's class. Do give a thumbs up and don't forget to share this tutorial with your classmates. Let's meet in the next video. Until then, stay happy and keep learning.